Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to hear the most dynamic testimony ever given. This is a divine revelation of hell that the Lord gave to Mary Catherine Baxter. The Lord took her out of her body on 40 consecutive nights and walked throughout the length and the breadth of hell and talked with many people. She saw the size and the shape of hell. She experienced the pain and horror of hell. I'm sure that you will never be the same after listening to these messages. And now I am happy to present to you Mary Catherine Baxter for her testimony. I thank God for this opportunity to put on tape my book, The Divine Revelation of Hell, which was given unto me by the Holy Ghost and inspired by Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Lord showed me hell. My friends, I give God honor and glory, and I pray that these tapes may go around the world to set the captive free. The Lord showed me the degrees, the levels, and the torments of hell. He also showed me revelations about the beast, parts of heaven, and what happens to babies when they die. He also revealed to me what happens to the servants of God who did not obey their calling. He brought the word alive to me so that I may present it to you in the revelations and depths of the Holy Ghost. These things that you're about to hear are true. These things are of God to set the captive free and to bring people out of darkness into light. My friend, if you could see the souls that are burning in flames of hell daily, minute after minute, hour after hour, you would cry out against hell and sin. In the Bible, in Revelations 20, 10 to 15 says, Hell is a lake of fire. In Luke chapter 16, 22 to 24 says that hell is a place of torment. Mark 9, 43 says that hell is a place where lost souls never die and the fire is not quenched. I could not imagine the reality of hell until God took me down there. My friend, I walked with the Lord Jesus Christ into hell. In Matthew 25, 30, also talks about hell. Revelations 14.10 says that hell is a place where sinners and unbelievers drink of the wine of God's wrath. Revelations 14.11 says that it is a place where the smoke of their torment ascends up forever and ever. There is a God in heaven who created all things. He created you and every person who ever lived. He is a holy God, a God of love, righteousness, and justice. He is also a God of wrath taking vengeance upon ever sin and sinner. God cannot tolerate sin. God now commands every person to truly repent of their sins and believe on His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, as their Savior and Lord. Jesus came down from heaven, born of a Virgin Mary, lived a holy life, and died on the cross of Calvary, shedding His precious blood as an atonement for our salvation. Jesus Christ is the only way to eternal life. I am saying these things for those who are listening to this tape who are not born again. My friend, we must reconcile ourselves unto God. We must die to what man thinks, and we must be true children of the Lord. The Lord took my spirit out of my body and translated me into hell with him. I walked with Jesus through the things I'm about to share with you. I was in my home in Michigan praying, and the Spirit of the Lord fell upon me. I knew that God was going to reveal things of deep truth unto me. In the beginning of my calling several years before, God had appeared to me and spoken in a brilliant silver light. At this time, it was about two o'clock in the morning, and a brilliant light appeared at the foot of my bed. And as the light cleared up, there stood the Lord Jesus Christ in a human form. He was about six foot three or four, with very broad shoulders, and his eyes was like looking into rivers of eternity. He manifested himself to me in this way. He reached out his hand from the center of the light and said, Come, come with me. And as he did this immediately, my spirit came out of my body, but my body was lying upon the bed. I stood by the Lord. And I looked at my body was laying by my husband on the bed as if it was asleep. 
Jesus said, Fear not, for you shall go with me down into the depths of hell, and you shall give this report unto the world. Jesus was with me during this journey, and as we walked and talked through hell, went through hell together, I asked him many questions. He said to me, Come, my daughter. And when he spoke to me, the top of my bedroom soon to roll back, and I went with Jesus through the roof of my home. I looked back at my family, and he said, Fear not, they shall be safe. For all around my home were many angels watching over my children and husband. Jesus said, I say unto the people, Hear and live unto me, and fear not man, but fear God. For I alone, the Lord, can cast your soul into hell, not Satan. Believe this report, saith the Lord, for these things are faithful and true. For the powers of darkness are real, and the judgments are true. I am the door, saith Jesus. No man can come unto the Father but by me. Hear the words of this prophecy, for it is the Spirit of the Lord. He says, I am love, I will forgive. I, the Lord Jesus, shall take my child into hell by my spirit, and will show her in detail the parts of hell I want the world to know. I will appear to her many times and take her into hell. I will take her spirit out of her body by my power, and we shall go into hell for the writing of these tapes and books. It shall go around the world and bring many to Christ. Jesus said, Behold, my child, and hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the churches. We went high into the heavens, and I turned and looked at Jesus. He was full of glory and power, and such peace flowed from him. At times the Lord appeared in a human form, sometimes in a spiritual form. This time he had a long white robe on and a golden belt. And he had uh, a beard and a mustache, and his hair was cut right below his ears. And the power and the love that flowed from Jesus Christ, I have never seen it in earth. We began to go high into the sky, and I could see the earth below. And out of the earth came types of tornadoes or funnels like. And I asked Jesus, what are these? Jesus said, these are gateways into hell. And I knew within me that these could not be seen with a natural eye, but with the eyes of the Spirit. I remember hearing people say when they died, they went down a dark tunnel. And I knew this was what they were talking about. We began to descend down one of these gateways into hell. Friends, there was a deep darkness all around and a smell so horrible that it was hard to breathe. All along the sides of this tunnel were forms of all sorts embedded into the walls and a gray mesh in front of them. They could move out but could, would be still attached to the walls were demon powers behind this gray mesh. A horrible smell and terrible screams came from the inside of this tunnel. My friends, if Jesus Christ had not been with me, I would not be here today to share you, with you this revelation of hell. These evil spirits seemed to be ready to be spewed upon the earth. Evil laughter rang out and screams of death and an odor so horrible that I could hardly breathe. Yes, I had all my senses, and I was in a spirit form. Truly, the Lord thy God has all power of heaven and earth. My friends, this is not pretty what you're going to hear. Screams so sad filled the air as we came near the base of the tunnel. Piercing cries and screams were coming up the dark tunnel to meet us. I could hear cries of all sorts filling the air. I could feel fear, death, and horror all around, and the smell of decaying flesh was everywhere. Never on earth had I felt such evil or known there were such cries of the dead. There seemed to be a force of evil winds and a small suction force ahead of us. Light and dark shadows flashed in the darkness. I also saw large snakes moving up ahead in the muck of the earth. Screams and cries of regret were echoing up through this tunnel. Hell, Jesus said, lies in the center of the earth. Hell is in a bodily form. Where God has a body of believers, hell has a body of unbelievers. Hell was not created for man. It was created for the devil and his angels. Jesus said again, We're about to enter the left leg of hell. Ahead is such sorrow, sadness, and horror. 
Forms of evil and souls of many are ahead of us, my child. I will grant you strength and protection as we go through hell. Much of the things you're about to see will save many, many people from coming here. This is real. Jesus said, this is your life if you choose it. And Jesus said, fear not, for I shall be with you at all times, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. My word says that in the last days the mysteries of God shall be revealed. And this is a hidden mystery revealed unto the world. 